There's this huge Xanax crisis. Now we're seeing younger and younger age groups not only being prescribed benzodiazepines, but being kept on them. In interviews with experts and patients of all ages and backgrounds, Take Your Pills Xanax takes a hard look at one of America's favorite anxiety drugs. Three or four minutes later, it was like I was normal again. And for me, you know, you can almost feel it kick in with a click, which is why it felt like such a magic elixir to me. I think a huge desire for a lot of people, especially in our generation, needing a quick fix. The Netflix documentary, executive produced by Christina Schwarzenegger and her mom, NBC special anchor Maria Schreiber, is a sequel to their 2018 film, Take Your Pills, which looked at abuse of the ADHD drug Adderall. Everybody takes Adderall. Everyone. Now, with anxiety rates soaring, this mother-daughter duo felt the time was right to focus a lens on the risks of Xanax, prescribed to nearly 17 million people in 2020 alone. People are scared. They're scared about the climate. They're scared about our politics. They're scared about their job. And there is Xanax, and people can buy it on social media. They can get it from their uh, doctor. And many of the doctors were saying, you know, people come in here, and then they'll write me a terrible review if I don't give them something. The film finds some doctors cave to the pressure and prescribe patients Xanax for years. But experts say it's only designed for short-term use. And the longer you take it, the higher the risk of getting hooked. Knowing what I know now, I would never have taken that first prescription. Christina says, though she's never taken Xanax, this project was inspired by her own experience with anxiety. I actually ran into a therapist recently, which was really funny. And I said, I don't know, I'm kind of having anxiety in my life right now. You know, I've never really struggled with that. And he's like, Christina, you had debilitating anxiety. I have four kids. I hear a lot about Xanax and the easy access that young people have today to these drugs is terrifying. The documentary features cases like 16-year-old Sammy Chapman, son of the famous relationship therapist, Dr. Laura Berman. Last year, Sammy died after taking Xanax he had bought online that was laced with fentanyl. His devastated parents spoke out on Today. I went into his room and um, he was on the floor and gone. The film also looks at how our society copes with anxiety and explores alternative treatments to drugs. Look at anxiety as not something that necessarily has to be medicated, but that's something to work with that's a common part of life. Hmm. It's definitely time to have this conversation. Yeah. No wow. question about it. And no one better than Maria and mm -hmm. her daughter yeah. to have that conversation. No kidding. Yeah, absolutely. But, wow. you know, during the pandemic, a lot of folks, myself included, yeah. listen, yeah. full disclosure, yeah. I've, I've taken Xanax for a number of years now, but I think a lot of folks discovered that mm -hmm. as an option. And, you know, you take a step back and you realize maybe this has become more of a crutch. Yeah, and she's talking else. about other ways to deal with right. anxiety. Well, I was right. just going to say, we did the segment a couple weeks ago where you had the VR headsets yeah. brought in, and we did the tapping. And the there tapping, so which I downloaded. Out other there. Journaling. Absolutely. Yeah. You just Meditation. have to learn about them. Other ways, yeah, yeah. It's important. The documentary, Take Your Pills, Xanax, debuts today on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific, on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day. Or click the link right here.